We have to start somewhere. Okay. Maybe something clicks and they might think of an alternative. It's a good challenge to have something that structurally is meant for something else and to, to change that. To look at it and just imagine another way that it could be. If you find the most unique materials, you make the most unique stuff, and then it's sustainable to boot. We're trying to challenge the notion that you would repair something and just relegate it to gardening trousers or whatever after that. So just that you would repair it and wear it, not just for every day, but you actually would wear it on a catwalk. Bold, bright, repaired clothing. It involves the whole community. As people of all shapes and sizes, all abilities have come together to, to make things and to showcase them. I think it might spark off people's imagination. Maybe it'll just inspire a few people to do something different or take the time to, you know, make a change. I sort of came to this through the material because I walk about, I see loads of bookies pens lying about on the ground all the time. I've, I've collected a lot of bookies pens, I've been wondering about just picking them up when I see them and um, discarding the really chewed ones, you know, where people have been watching a really exciting race. There's so much stuff always going on, it's like a beehive of water and of things. This building is special. Because of its history. Transient communities that have lived here, that have left their mark. The memories of the people that have used the space, the, me the memories of the people that have fought to keep this place open and the new memories that people are making now are building this iconic building to be the way that it is. The inspiration for this is there's a Mexican street parade and they cover themselves head to toe in cans. And it's, there's so many of them and they all walk and the noise is ferocious.
just love disabled. So it's been a way for me to integrate into the community. It's just getting me out and about. So it's been absolutely fantastic. My brand is called Thrifty Little and I use upcycled materials to make um, basic design. And each one generally is unique because I source the fabric from all over and, and it's all different. The future is sustainable. Things have to start moving forward that way. Why shouldn't it start with me or the people who buy my clothes? When I was a kid, it all seemed to be everything was make, do, amend, everything was recycled, and that passed on to our generation. And then it seems to have got lost and the next one on. We're just so, so used to getting things and throwing them away. Now we're turning into this community that are actually starting to recycle things. And it's just going back to like how it used to be. There's so much waste in this world that it's about time we started to be proactive and actually using things, the materials that we have available to us, you know, and if you can make something magnificent out of it, then why not? The fact that it's the community that's running it and they're the ones pushing it and they're the ones that are passionate about it, that's, for me, that's, it's huge. <laughs> We are using the medium of creativity to get people to change behaviour and to possibly consume less and to think about the planet a little bit more. I hope it will make the board look at their own clothes differently and think, what could I do to change that to make it something more interesting rather than just chucking it out? that there's potential in everything if you just think about it in a different way. It makes you feel good to be creative. It makes you feel good to have your own style. It makes you feel good to, to, you know, just be together and create something together. But if everything you buy is a slight strain on the, the planet and the environment, every single thing, and then that adds up, and every single thing you buy is a bit more of a strain and a bit more. For me, it starts to weigh heavy on me knowing that, seeing how much I throw out and how much is, is useless and, and can't be reused. So then when you start, when you buy something that's sustainable or recyclable, you feel like you're pulling that back a bit. All the, the negative impact that you've had on the planet, you feel like you're making up for it a bit. That's why it's important to me. It makes me feel less guilty <laughs> for being a human being on this uh, nice planet.
park courts are coming out. And it's all changed. It's no where it used to be. I'm no racist, but... <laughs> I thought you used to draw white goods when I used to go there. There was the odd mattress or two, don't get me wrong, but now they're everywhere. In the back lanes, the bookies, 30, 40 mattresses in street corners. It was bad enough, but then we heard about the upcyclers. <laughs> they weren't here yet, but they're already flooded. Shoreditch, Brick Lane, the West End, and just like everybody else, it was inevitable they would end up in Common Hill. <laughs> I mean, we can't go. We're still trying to deal with a flood, the massive wave of hipsters. <laughs> 4,000 hipsters in five years coming in here, and they don't even integrate. I have no idea what they're saying. They're strange clays. Filling up the Gallic Medium School with a wee Roonies and Emily's. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's not the same. But then they arrived at Nadine and our rags to riches gone. And it all changed again. And the council tell me there's no need for old Kenny anymore. Aww. I'm surplus to requirements. You see, they're taking all the rubbish and they're turning it into furniture and clays. So, time's up for Kenny. But I'm no bitter. I'm no sure what all you tree huggers do in this swimming baths. I know you're no swimming. But whatever it is, I hope you have a good night and enjoy the show. Woo!